G'day, I'm David G, Sheshnag Yoga Center. What on earth is Kundalini? Sheshnag.com This video I want to make about disease or disease. Been trying to research it lately in regards to the culture and the experience that's going on energetically. I'm a big energetic person. Everything to do with my life is the physical sciences and energy in general, like vibrations and frequencies and how they are experienced within my framework. I've realized there's a lot of stress in the culture. There's a lot of stress in life in general in the Western world. Of course, they're first world problems, but it's all relative and it's all stress at the end of the day if then it's not addressed so you have stresses from relationships you have stresses from being a parent financial stresses um, employment stresses the reality that you get up in the morning if you work and leave the loved ones and then go somewhere where you're not around loved ones or emotionally valued or expressive and you can form into a certain paradigm you have conformity ones in regards to the government rules and road rules of course some of these are necessary in the smooth functioning of a culture and community and society but ultimately there's a lot of stress put on the human being which creates this bent perspective and I heard someone say that we're born sinners and then I thought I heard someone else say that we're actually innately givers the only thing that inhibits us from giving is the amount of stress put on us through the outside culture a lot of us aren't in a position where we can freely give and donate of our time because we're so busy economically driven that there's so many pressures on us to maintain the existence which the culture sees as normal that it creates stress and in that stress the etheric body experiences dis-ease and from the dis-ease there's a manifestation of illness which explains why we're in the current state where human beings are the most sick that they've ever been of course we've got documentation and Facebook and all the social media and media in general that show us a comparison of life to other people and get exposed on a global level so maybe we were always as sick as we are now per capita but we just don't know about it we're actually not living in a community or a village where you only see your village you turn your computer on and you see thousands of people literally so you compare to those and in that you create an experience of through comparison a feeling of disease within your own psyche to do with not feeling good enough or comparing yourself to others so their polished photos and their polished posts of perfection actually allow you to think that your comparison isn't satisfactory and in the humanness of everything then the most vulnerable and appreciated comparisons are when people are really truthful and authentic and talking about their raw vulnerabilities how do you come back to a state of ease in a constant stressful environment i really don't know apart from developing the relationship with yourself firstly and foremostly in regards to understanding yourself and what your needs are working in a way that 
your obligations are met, but your emotional and spiritual and physical needs are met also. And then from that relationship with yourself, the relationship with the divine will be expressed or connected in a certain way. And then also relationship with others will follow in resonance to your own relationship with yourself. There's a lot of reality in that. And then we go into the subconscious and unconscious relationship with yourself. I'm going to do another video on that now so I can talk about it in, at, in detail a bit more about some of the specific factors. So coming to relationship with yourself is the most important and crucial thing you can do to experience a harmonious experience with others and with the divine. Share the world, peace. Om Namah Shivaya. Hara Hara Mahadev.